Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET uh, tutorial. In this sub-series, we will learn about the configuration file and how to read the configuration settings. In old days, desktop application configurations are placed in a separate file called INI file, which contains name value pair of settings. So this is the approach we used in the AD 90s as well as uh, um, so 90s as well as uh, the AD 2000 we can say. In .NET world, application configuration files are in XML format. When ASP.NET application loads, the runtime first examines the machine.config file. So machine.config file is the root So that's the root and all the application .NET domain based application will check the configuration settings in machine.config file You can locate this file under Windows Microsoft.NET framework then we will be having a specific framework version so here in this example if you see uh, we are at uh, .NET 4 version so inside that you will have a folder called config so this folder contains machine.config file for a specific .NET version right here the machine.config file is for version uh, 4 dotnet version 4 so all the settings are first searched in this uh, machine.config file then the runtime moves into the next level of uh, settings all right so this machine.config file holds settings common for all dotnet application so whether it is a web application or a desktop application all the settings will present in this machine.config file so the machine.config file is the common uh, file for both uh, these application flavors and the settings are common for the specific machine so when we are talking about machine you can consider a, a application that uh, runs in the web server so it can be your web server machine Uh, it can be your standalone machine as well. The file web.config in the same folder provides common settings for all web application. Right? First one is machine.config, then you will be having web.config in the same folder, in the config folder. So which provides common settings for all web application so if you look at machine.config the file provides settings common for web as well as desktop application but uh, web.config file provides the settings common to the web application so if it is a web server and if it is hosting multiple websites then uh, uh, the web.config file in this config folder is checked to load the settings which is common for all the web applications out by this uh, web server desktop application specific config goes into app name dot exe dot config so this is for desktop application and uh, the setting specific to that desktop exe will go into this config file similarly web application specific configs goes into web.config file similarly web application specific config goes into web.config in the application specific directory so here we are talking about web.config right we will call it as two and after checking the uh, common machine.config entries we will land up into web.config file so whatever setting say for example if a setting x is provided and if a setting x is provided here as well 
then uh, the setting for x a is replaced by setting for x which is value b here so the latest one will get the uh, configuration so that's how the runtime will examine top to bottom approach and this web.config is only for web application but it's common for all the web application after examining that we will have two routes one is for app name dot config we can call it as 3a and another one is 3b right so once again i will reiterate it so machine dot config file so that holds settings common for that specific machine and serves the common settings for both web as well as a desktop application next comes web.config file on a specific location and web.config file will have settings common to all the web application then we will be having a separate config file for desktop so this is for specific exe similarly this is for a specific web application so in a machine if we have three web applications say ax bx and cx then we will be having web.config file for all these uh, three applications uh, separately say for example ax will hold a web.config similarly bx will hold web.config similarly cx will hold web.config so all this file will have settings specific for the web application ax bx and cx now we will um, see how to create a web.config file for our application then we will also see how to read the configuration settings so that uh, application uh, will read the setting and behave accordingly that's all here in this video there is no demo in here thank you for uh, watching bye